So I'm pretty sure you guys know what type of video this is going to be. I actually got a request to make Michi bombs or Michilada bombs. I've never made them before in my life. I don't think I've ever tasted a Michilada. I have made a Michilada before, but never tasted it. Never made a Michi bomb, but we're gonna do that today. So for this ingredient, you're gonna need any type of beer that you want. We're gonna do Modelo, and it doesn't have to be this big. I am also gonna make a paste, so you guys stay tuned for that. Tajin, Tabasco sauce, or any kind of salsa you like. It can be Valentina, whatever you want. Clamato, or you can use any kind of um, tomato juice or whatever, like a V8 or whatever you have in hand. I'm gonna use a Clamato, I was able to find it in a can for a dollar. These candies, we just bought Mexican candies because I am gonna put them on the little stick, like the skewer to put it inside. Your Lucas, your limones, well, your limes, and tamarindos. I think it's tamarindo. That's the way my grandma used to call them when we were little. And of course, your moldings. So what we're gonna do right now is we're gonna get started on the on the juice that's gonna go inside of the bomb because I am going to freeze it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open the can. You like this? I don't know. And I'm gonna throw it in here. I'm also going to throw some Tabasco sauce. I'm not going to put a lot of it because I don't want it to be picoso in, or um, spicy. And we're going to... One, two, three, four, five. That might have been a lot, but oh well. And then we're going to get our limes. What I'm going to do is my lime's a little hard. So I am going to kind of smush it with my hand to make it like a little aguadito or soft. And then I'm gonna kind of roll it around. And that's gonna loosen up your juice. Okay, maybe not a lot. And then we're gonna squeeze it in there. Now, after you put your lime in there, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna mix it around. I'm gonna put a little bit of tahin, just very little in there. Se me va la mano. Se me fue el mano. Okay. After you mix all your ingredients together, you're going to want to get like something sturdy because we are going to put this juice or this mixture inside of these, um, inside of the bomb. Well, inside of the moats. The moats. So if you move it around, it is liquid. So it is going to fall. So we're going to do it like this. Okay. You need a support. Yeah. Like a bra. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pour our mixture inside of our molds. I'm going to see if I can get three out of this. Okay. So now once you did that, you want to kind of like move it around just so it can be even. You know what I mean? Now we're going to put this in the fridge or the freezer and we're going to freeze this. I'm going to go ahead and start on the paste. Eight of the tamarindos. One, two... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I have eight of them. So we're gonna go ahead, I heated up my pan and I'm gonna throw them in here. You don't want them to burn, so don't have it too high yet. And now I'm gonna put in a half a cup of chamoy. Okay, a cup and a half. The sizzle. And I'm gonna put it a little lower because I don't want it to burn. You know when you were melting the strawberries? Yeah. That's what it looks like. Oh. The syrup. And then you're gonna cook it until all the tomarindos are like melted inside of the. Oh yeah, it is. Melting the chamoy. Up. See, it's kind of it's starting to loosen up. Mm-hmm. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the Lucas, the Mongo type, the with the blue cap, and I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in there. Some people use sugar, but I actually like the paste to taste like a mango or the mango flavor. 
So I'm gonna add three for right now. And I'm also gonna use the gusano. It's the Lucas, it looks like a little vial, a uh, little um, accordion. And then I'm gonna mix that. That mango Lucas, it actually has like a sweet to it. So now that it looks like this, it's really sticky, you guys. We're gonna go ahead and turn it off. And we're gonna put it aside and wait for our mixture that we mixed a little earlier to freeze so we can start making our bombs. They were in the refrigerator for an hour and 30 minutes. I don't want them to be too, too hard because they are gonna go in the beer. I'm not gonna put anything in the middle. So we're gonna do is we're gonna pop them out like this and look at how they came out. They're gonna be a little uneven, well, mine are. It's okay though, it's gonna melt in the drink. Yeah. <laughs> That's the whole point. And our paste that we made earlier. Oh, it looks professional. I know, look <laughs> at that. It looks delicious. It's deliciousness. You're only gonna put a little bit on there. <clears throat> it is gonna move around. I should have left them a little longer, but hey, whatever. They're gonna be drink anyways. See how they're a little squishy running mm -hmm. around, mm -hmm. moving around, but it's all right. Mm -hmm. It's all right, it's all right. It's a little sticky, but. <laughs> yeah, it is gonna be a little sticky. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some of the, um, the chili powder. Remember, this is a little sweet. I'm gonna pour some in a bowl, and then I'm gonna kind of dip it in there. So it could be like for Valentine's Day. Look at that. Whatever candies you want on it, it's just for decoration or whatever. So we're gonna do it with a wine glass. Okay, put it down, twirl it, leave it in there. That came out better, right? Oh yeah. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill it, we're not gonna fill it a lot, you know, because we already had one bad experience. So I'm gonna do it halfway, mm -hmm. so you guys can see the bomba. And we're gonna throw it in. Look at that. Dissolve. Look at that bad boy. You can pour more as you go, but start off with a little bit first, because you don't want an explosion. <laughs> no more, no more, no more, no more. There we go. We're gonna get our little sticks. And I'm gonna put some of these candies on there. And it's only for decoration. Those chihuahuas. Oh, I can eat Little gusanitos. Open this? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I opened it all because you always I forget. Somebody else had opened it. I was like, oh, Dios. I'm trying to block it so she doesn't come and get it. <laughs> it's like a Micho Martini. <laughs> and we're gonna put it in there like that. There you go. And it's still going. Look at it. It's still, it's still sizzling, yeah. Yeah, it's still. It's still dissolving. Okay, now let's call Roy. Mm -hmm. Is it supposed to taste like that? What does it I mean, taste like? It tastes like beer at the... Like that sour, you can taste the, the sourness. No, but is it supposed to taste... Does it taste like a michelada? Yeah. Have you had a michelada before? Yeah. Mom, try it. Mm -mm. I just took allergy medication. You did what that on purpose. 
that's the end of our video. We really hope you liked our Michilada bombs. Disaster bombs. Our Michi Flada. Yeah. Michi Flada. <laughs> our Michi Flada bombs. And um, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Bye.